Y'all want to see some books from CGC? Because I got some books from CGC today. Now, these are not my books. My buddy Big Mike over at Killer Finds here in Hiram, Georgia. Uh, you guys remember me talking about them a lot on the channel. That's my book. Boy, formerly my local comic shop, but he's still my boy, and he had some books he wanted submitted to CGC, so I hooked him up and took care of that from him. Let's open these up, and let's see what kind of grades he got. So a couple of these I'm familiar with, and a couple of them I'm not. Mike picked these up from a collection he had purchased, and uh, he thought a few of them were cool enough to get submitted, so I was like, hey, bro, I'll do it for you, no problem. So the first one we have here is Jet Power number 2. From IW Enterprises. This is a Silver Age from 1963. It is a reprinting of a Golden Age comics. Uh, A1 Comics number 32 from 1951. So on this one he got a point five. Bruh. Um, it says here the centerfold is missing and it affects the story. So it's an incomplete book. He got a point five. But uh, it's a pretty neat cover. Not too bad. Uh, a lot of nice colors on it. I mean, it's a cool cover for sure. Uh, you got the back cover there. Somebody's doing a little engine swap action going on there. An amazing new home training plan in auto repairing. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I went through that as well uh, just in the front yard with my father. So, uh, so yeah, a .5, low grade, but uh, hopefully he'll be happy with it. Now, this next one, we are going to dive into some golden age and uh, this one, I think he may be a little disappointed on. Uh, I'm not sure really what he was expecting. Like I said, uh, we knew a couple, we knew all of these were going to be low grade books. Uh, this one is Four Color Comics, Series 1, issue number 18 from Dell Publishing, 1941. Way back. Jigs and Maggie uh, appearance and bringing up the father. So. You can see the cover here. Really cool golden age. The only problem is, oh man, we got the purple label. So there's some restoration going on here, but there's there's, there's like a kicker here because, okay, let, let's, let's read it. I, I'm a little confused. Maybe some of you guys out there, I know we got some aficionados out there in golden age and resto. So I'm a little confused here because it says restoration includes front cover and back cover reattached with glue. However, comma, spine and cover completely split and detached. Huh? Is it is it glued back or, or is it split and detached? I don't I don't understand what's going on here. Um, maybe maybe there was like remnants of glue previously where it was attached and now it's unattached i don't know neat cover yellow cover um 68 pages i gave this to john at my local comic shop and he was going to press and clean all these um i know this one specifically he didn't even want to take it out of the bag he was like i can't even take that out of the bag bro because it's pretty rough i mean you can kind of hopefully you can kind of see that spine is just really not in not in good shape at all and and i don't know if you guys can see because i can't see what you're seeing but it's just not in good shape at all so he got a 0.5 and he got the uh restored grade label so i don't know i don't i don't, I don't know i don't know what what that means if this is you know if if it was worth getting graded at that point or not uh, if anyone is familiar with this and knows anything about it, drop it in the comments and let me know because I don't know nothing about this one. Now the next two, the next two, they're in the old wheelhouse. This is this is where I know about because uh, we're getting into some silver and bronze age keys. Uh, actually, these are both bronze age keys, I guess. They just barely, one, one of them barely misses the mark. I guess they both barely missed the mark of silver age by just a few years. Um, but nonetheless, we have werewolf by night issue number one in a 5.5 white pages it's got to count for something right uh so we have the story continued from marvel spotlight number four uh this is the issue one of the first titled series of werewolf by night pretty cool especially since we're getting kind of close to halloween 
Uh, so not not too bad at all. This was the highest graded uh, book out of the submission for sure. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. It, it presents really well. Um, it's got some some really big color breaking creasing going on here on the front cover. Uh, it's got a little bit of Marvel chipping and it's got a few spine ticks and up around the top. So I mean, it's definitely got some issues, but uh, I mean, you know, not not too bad though. Five point five. Werewolf by Night, number one, 1972, a Mike Plug cover and Jerry Conway story, but right on. Now, to go along with that Werewolf by Night issue number one, he did have that first appearance of Werewolf by Night in Marvel Spotlight issue number two. Uh, so, this one's pretty cool, and it came in at a 2-0 off-white pages. So, uh, you know, much lower grade, but this one has been through the ringer. Uh, you guys can see that bottom corner there is pretty trashed, and there is big, big color-breaking creases all down the front of the book. Um, the back of it's pretty rough as well. Um, it, the, the, the page quality was pretty fragile on the cover and back cover, um, so... Uh, to try to do any kind of cleaning on this one was probably going to be really tough. But, I mean, you've got you've got it creased all the way down here, color breaking. All the way across here, color breaking. And you got one, two, three, four, five. I mean, there's probably ten huge creases going across this corner here. So, uh, 2.0, off-white pages. Uh, this is another Jerry Conway and Roy Thomas story. Also, Jeannie Thomas and Mike Plug art again. And uh, I was unaware, but this is a Neil Adams cover. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully he'll still be cool with them, but I don't know. These two should make him happy, though. And, and pretty great books to get back right around Halloween. Now, I will say it's been almost nine months since we sent these off. So at this point, I hope that the weight has not been so big that the grades are just completely going to crush my dude. So we're going to have to see. Uh, I'm going to take them to him this weekend and drop those off to him. But let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys think about this submission? Uh, what do you think about the Werewolf by Night covers? And are you familiar with either one of the other two books? Uh, that Golden Age reprint and then the Golden Age book that I showed as well. Drop me a comment. Let me know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. And as always, collect your way.